So when I was a student uh, at my Ukrainian university, uh, it was after collapse of the Soviet Union and some uh, military officers uh, who taught uh, uh, such security co uh, courses for universities for, uh, for the army, uh, they came to my university. I was very interested in such security, uh, security courses. It was uh, really exciting for me and I decided to join uh, such a research team. And, uh, and for now I understand that it was quite the right decision. Uh, this uh, block cipher uh, was developed uh, uh, to be used instead of uh, old Soviet standard. So Ukraine for very many years uh, uh, used uh, a very old standard which was, uh, which was developed uh, uh, by the Soviet Union. And uh, uh, when uh, this standard became obsolete, uh, we uh, we began to do researches in this direction and we uh, developed a quite new block cipher. The block cipher, which, uh, which has uh, very good properties, it was published in English, it was researched by several international teams, and we got uh, very positive uh, feedback for it. Uh, I heard about it uh, several uh, years ago. I didn't uh, t pay much attention for it because I was very busy with my habilitation dissertation with the new block cipher and very many, many other pro problems with giving courses at uh, international universities in South Korea, uh, in Norway. But when I got uh, uh, a little bit more free time, uh, when I looked for the new research directions after finishing this uh, uh, national project with uh, the block cipher, I found that uh, this is quite interesting topic and I decided to, to join this topic. I was uh, very lucky to meet the founders of IOHK and uh, uh, I joined this research team and it's very interesting to work in this area.